friends, it's Sunny. So I've had a request to look at Sky Chaussees and Quick Step. Uh, so if you liked today's video, please press that like button um, and subscribe to my channel. And if you ever have a request, uh, please put it in the comments. I definitely will respond and put a video up to um, what you ask for. Um, I do have other videos I've looked at this figure in greater detail. So this is not going to be like a half an hour video of what to put before and after and open choreography, closed choreography. This is just going to be a nutshell version of um, what you can do to make scatters look and feel better for you. I'll go over the man's part in the first part of the video. And the second part of the video, I'll cover the ladies part. So let's get started. Scatter shot face. I'm gonna head down line dance going away from you for starters. I'll come back later so you can see a different angle. Uh, usually starts with a step hop, step hop. So for men, I'm gonna go outside his partner. Step hop on the right heel. Now she's gonna step outside and step hop. Now here comes my first scatter. I'm going to go side, close, side, Close, that compress, swoop. Second part. Side, close, side, close, around her, and swoop. And that repeats. The etymology of where this figure evolved from is a tipple chasse, which you um, have learned in bronze. So if you want a technique exercise, you can work on at home to greatly improve your scatters, uh, both in shape and in balance. Um, it's going to be the first of your tipple. It's the same concept, just do continuous tipples. Forward of the right heel, side, close, around, compress and swivel. She goes around. He goes around. So the point where this often hits the rails uh, for people is that swivel portion. Um, it's actually not a, but a step hop, step hop is to enter in, but once you're in the middle of those scatters, it's not quick and quick and step hop. That's going to be really choppy, exhausting. You're going to fight your partner for space. You're going to get behind the music. Instead, every time you do that swiveling action, think step and step and compress. Stand away. If you're home, take that make sure you're pulling on that standing leg or your left foot when you're facing the center. This applies to both man and lady. So, quick and quick and compress and swivel test. Quick, or I'll show that actually in lady too because it's the exact same principle. Side, close, side, close, around, compress and spin. Side, close, side, close, compress and spin. Side, close, side, close, compress and spin. Okay. Uh, please, I'm going to show that with the pillow so you can see where your lady is in relation to you. So, here's my girl. show that from another angle just so you can see where she is. And you'll notice I'm not doing this to her while I'm dancing. I just have my arm bent. That's her space. This is really stable. And I'm going to be very low and bent in the knees. I never have a straight knee action in there at all. And my left hand is out to my side. Okay. Let me get a little farther away. Here we go. So we have step. Quick and quick 
and swivel. Two quick and swivel. So that whole time I'm really bent in the knees. The more flight you want, the more you'll keep the knees bent. Okay? Ladies, I'm going to show your part now. And I'm going to have a different pillow because it's usually not slender compared to you. He is usually muscular, heavier. Roll them back. Elbows are always going to be above our shoulders. If they get to shoulder height, they're going to start moving backwards. And if they get low, they're going to move even farther backwards and break your beautiful top line. So a little chip use. I'm always keeping my elbows ahead and up. Okay. Partners are different heights. So sometimes I'll have to adjust and bend the knees lower to maintain that nice top line. show that to you really quick. You can look left the whole time. That's going to look like this. This time I'm going to dance it away from you just so you get a different angle. So this will be looking, looking left. Looking left. Looking left. Looking left. Looking left. Okay. Now I'm going to give you another option. I can look where I was. Look where you were. That will look like this. I'll do slow-mo so you see where the head switches are. Look where I was. Look where I was. Looking where I was. Looking where I was. Look where I was. Look where I was. And I'm going to swivel that head back to looking back in line and dance when I have that compress and spin. And guys, that compress and spin is best if you can have a very bent knee and do it on the ball of foot. A flat, it's a lot heavier. Um, I know this figure is pretty hard to learn coming out of a shoot, but I do recommend investing time into it because in terms of open quick step, athletically, for me at least, it's the easiest figure of all. Once you nail that technique down, um, that is gonna take a lot of repetition and technique where you just dance so low and think, stay. Swivel, stop shy of line of dance, test, am I on the standing leg? But um, those are some helpful nuggets that'll get you on your way to making that thing easy and fun and cool looking. So thanks so much for watching today. Again, if you want a more video, I do um, look at this in greater detail in an earlier video, but um, thanks so much for your request. And if you liked today's video, press that like sign, subscribe. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for joining me guys, bye.